we've all been waiting for has finally arrived. The tanks are here. So as I said, the tanks are finally here, but let's not get too excited just yet. I really cannot stress enough how much I do not, do not recommend using Aquamania UK. Oh my God, they haven't got a bloody clue. And I'll show you exactly why. Right, so you'll excuse this monstrosity, which you'll see later on in the video. But we're going to focus on these tanks for now. I mean, like, okay, they look pretty damn good. They're nice. They're neat. But when you ask for somebody to build you a tank with a weir, you expect a weir comb. Now, is it just me? Can anybody else see a weir comb on there? No. And the gap between the top of the weir and the bottom of the brace is only 25 millimeters. How on earth am I supposed to put a weir comb on top of there? Adam's 6B2B2 came exactly the same. We've had to try and bodge a weir comb on it, but it still doesn't do the job properly. So even though Adam also asked for a background on it for the extra £30, it didn't come with a background, it didn't come with a weir comb. Apparently, you're supposed to say that you want a weir comb when you order the tank. But a weir comb is a part of the weir, so it should come as standard. Or so you'd think. But either so, if you're not going to put a weir comb on, why the hell would you put the weir that high? So now we've got to try and figure out exactly what we're going to do to make this filtration work properly. For the backgrounds, I've got some uh, black spray paint, so that will go on. We've already done Adam's. In order to sort out Adam's weir, he's basically had the weir comb off my Red Sea just to try and do something with it because the fish kept swimming over the weir into the, well, into the little weir tank area. So yeah, the next plan for these, possibly tomorrow, because obviously it's a bit late now, is I'm going to be spray painting the back of this tank I've put this one in backwards, so I've got to turn it round so I can spray paint the back of that. Then I'm also going to be doing it where these two tanks will sit down that side, purely because of where the braces are underneath, so I've got to move this sump down as well. So these two tanks will go down that side. This monstrosity, until we've got another one, will be going against that door, so it'll at least block off any cold coming to these tanks. And then also... It's a case of getting all the plumbing put in, which we've got all the plumbing. We've had that for ages because we was expecting the tanks two or three weeks ago. But we're finally making some progress. And as I say, at least, worst case scenario, the tanks are actually here. But we've still got to spend more bloody money on top just to be able to get them to be usable. So yeah, if you go on Facebook or on the internet, you type in Aquamania UK. It will come up as Paul Keane. He's got various different um, locations as well. Absolutely crap. I do not recommend anybody goes there. I'm not the only one. Other people, if you look back on my comments on previous videos, you'll see other people have turned around and says, oh, he messes them around. He doesn't deliver tanks in this and that and blah, blah, blah. Well, now I've witnessed it for myself. He said... Oh, we'll have them in four weeks. It's now been, what, seven weeks? And they've only just showed up. The 6B2 showed up last weekend. My two have come this weekend. And the two-foot cube that was meant to be coming as well for Adam, he's turned around. He says, do you know what? Don't even bother. Because that wasn't ready either. So that would have been yet another week or so before that shows up. Then I turn around. I says, all right, okay. Because of the fact that there is no weir combs and we've got to spend extra money now just to be able to sort out the weirs that you have made wrong, I'm going to deduct £10 a tank just to fix it. My God, the geezer would not give up. He was banging on my door, getting abusive. So I've ended up having to just give him the money just to get him away from my house, which I'm not impressed with. And I've turned around and I says, I will make sure that everybody knows exactly the kind of person he is. He doesn't reply to messages. He doesn't answer calls. He's very, very slow if he does actually like reply to messages. And on top of that, he's also a liar. Because he turned around, I've gone out. I says, are you Paul or are you the driver? And he's gone, I'm the driver. Okay. So then I've messaged Paul on his uh, personal number and on his Facebook. And that same guy has got 
the messages and replied to them. It's like, okay, I thought you wasn't Paul. You know, it just kind of explains itself. So as I say, whatever you do, do not buy any new tanks from Aquamania UK. It is really not worth your time, your wasted money or your effort. And tell you what though, it's no wonder why nowhere you can leave any sort of reviews for the guy because he switched them all off. Now that just answers your own question, doesn't it really? Right, so now that the rant's over, I'm going to show you a few bits of what I've been doing for this. And then we'll end the video there. So I'm studying my course upstairs. And I've got a lovely view of some fish around me as well, just to keep me motivated. And I've also had to put two pieces of paper between these tanks, because even though the flower horn's not bothered, the jag keeps trying to have a go at the flower horn through the glass. Sat here doing my coursework. And then we've got Pearl and Jags that have decided that they're hungry. So now they're having a nice little munch. And Jags has gone up first. Gone. Alright, so as you all already know if you do watch this channel, my carpentry skills ain't exactly the best, which is why I always get Adam to help me. Now, this section is a straight box. That section has had to have L joints on purely because I can't whoop, a bit windy out here, purely because I can't measure properly. But then I've also boarded the one side again it doesn't exactly look the best but it's going to be insulated and then covered over on the front as well and hopefully i'll do a better job of covering the front and then i can put that bit on the garage store side but yeah it'll all get painted as well so now i've just got to go and get me insulation fill it up and put the boards on all right so there's the first layer of insulation put in now i've got to pack it up before the wind blows it all back out again Right, so there's one side done. As I say, it doesn't look the best, but I'm going to sand the edges and then paint it. And then there's the other half. So, obviously, the only bit that looks kind of worse on this bit is where I've had to patch up the end. But the rest of it, mm, it'll do. As I say, as long as it does the job and insulates the garage, that's all that matters. So I've given the edges a bit of a sand down, but let's just be honest, it is what it is, and that is rubbish. Alright, so I know it's been nearly two weeks since I've uploaded a video, and thank you to everybody for your patience. Obviously, I'm not just going to post for the sake of posting, we've been waiting for these tanks, and it's, it's just been a joke. So now I've got to do the best I can to try and get these tanks running as soon as possible. So obviously I can get these guys out and put into appropriate tanks. So yeah, I'm still working on my fish course as well. But I just want to say thank you to everybody that supports the channel. Shares and comments and everything it is much appreciated. So make sure you like, subscribe if you're not already. Hit the notification bell and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye.